and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over a few ways you could earn money as a content creator. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. I'm just going to go over these here in a list format. I do have a list of four ways that you as a content creator can make a little extra revenue. With that being said, I'm just going to jump right into it. The first one is merch. If you're a content creator, one of the easiest ways for you to set up and make a little bit of extra money is by selling your own merch. There is a few people that will probably want your brand, and even if not, it's pretty cool to be able to order yourself your own little desk mat. So this is one of the ways I actually suggest setting up to get started to making a little bit of revenue. It's one of the easiest ways to make money as a creator and selling your merch this is actually so easy and there's lots of services one that i use when i just started was actually stream elements i do have a full video covering how to set it up so if you are interested in that i will definitely make sure to leave links to all that in the description below i definitely think it is one of the most used ways to make a little extra money as a creator i do have a full video covering how to set this here up if you are interested it is pretty simple um, I use Stream Elements. The service is pretty easy. All you'll need to do is go in and set up the merch that you want and upload a logo. It'll add it to a few things that you want. And I find this super cool. Even if you're not making a little extra money on it, it's pretty cool to the next time you order a mouse pad. It's costing you $30 to buy another brand's mouse pad. You can have your own mouse pad on your desk. I think that's cool. Stickers, hat. I definitely think that they have fairly good quality. And I've ordered the stuff myself just to make sure that it was good enough to offer for my viewers. But this is one of the easiest easiest ways to make a little extra revenue as a creator. Wouldn't say it's a great income, but one or two dollars per item. If you sell a handful of items in a year, like I said, don't expect to make a lot. It's just a little bit of extra revenue that will just add. As you get bigger, this year will get bigger and grow. More people will want your merch. And it's something good to have it when you first start because it doesn't cost you anything to start. The merch store will cost you nothing to set up and get going if you go through stream elements. And like I was saying before, I'll make sure to leave a link to a video covering how to set this here up in the description below. In this here video, I'm not going to be covering all the fine details. So if you would like one of these here individually done, I do have uh, full videos covering most of these here things all the way through from start to finish. In this video, I'm just going to list them off so that you know that these here ways exist. For number two on my list, I put websites. I put websites on my list as number two because I find them myself very easy to set up. Yes, a website. I myself find this here the easiest way to make extra ad revenue. If you set up a website, and sign up for Google AdSense, then your website could generate a bit of revenue. It generates a bit of revenue from the visitors it gets. Learning ways to use that. For this example, uh, you can check out my website at ZNGamingMedia.com or ZNGaming.com. I own both websites. They generate it's the same website. They lead to the, both the same place. What I do is I have a few ads come up that pop up here. They're not crazy ads. They're not the greatest ads. I do have to change my menu because they get in the way. The more people that visit your website, the more ads ad revenue you'll make. It is no different than YouTube or Twitch when you run ads, except for you can have a lot of different things on your website. For me, in this example, I use things like events. So if I'm going to run a community event, I can put it here on the calendar where I can click it, open it up, see the information, click the links. I super like that. And it generates a lot more people come here. So if someone in the Discord asks when the events are, you can send them the event page in your website, which is going to generate you a view in Discord that you already have. And then if they go to the website, you'll get a view for that and the ad will pay you for that one view. So I find this one here the easiest way for a content creator to make money. The merch store is pretty on par. You can add it to your website, which again in turn, if you have your merch store on your website and you're running ads, you will generate a, a quite a bit if there's lots of visitors just even checking it out. If they're just there to look at your merch, you'll generate views, which in turn will generate you ad revenue on a website. I do find it easy because I do have a background in building websites and I just find it easy. I just actually find building websites easy. It takes me 20 minutes to set one up, maybe three or four days after that to add enough information to make it eligible for the ads. But once you learn the basics of how to set up your AdSense account and get it added to the website, after that learning curve's over, this generates a consistent, constant, steady revenue for your viewers. I have things in here like streamer support where I offer a bunch of other streamers. So some people come in here and just see if someone's live instead of checking their feed. They come in and check the, the calendar. They hit the forms up as they need commands. So like I said, websites are, you can generate multiple different ways for people to come here. I have it set up for commands. So anyone comes in my chat and sees me as mod and wants to know commands, I send them here because that's an extra view. And you can see I'm getting quite a few of them. My website's not even a year old, but I've definitely gotten thousands of views, which definitely in turn is the same as YouTube. 
it, it pays it pays per view. So that's a small bit of income that you'll be able to make consistently. And that's why websites is definitely number two on my list. There was a little bit of controversy between one, two, and three because I wanted to list them the easiest way to make money. And merch just comes off as just you don't have to do hardly anything. But website and donations are just so close and they're just as easy to set up. The next one I'm going to cover, number three, is tips and donations. Now this one here is basically, it's pretty straightforward underneath your panel on your Twitch or other platform, YouTube, etc. You just put a donate link that you can click on. It's going to open up to a page that's like your, your tips and donations. And again, this is something easy to set up. It's set up through stream elements. This is something that I definitely have a step-by-step -step guide for how to set up. It's so easy. All you have to do is add your PayPal account and set up how you want your homepage to look and you're done. The next time somebody wants to give you a donation, which is an okay way to make a little bit of money, but I actually don't enjoy asking asking my viewers for things. I enjoy, like as bad as people think ads are, I actually enjoy making money off of the ads over asking people for subscriptions and donations. So I find this one here is why it made it third on my list is because the other ones, people get back something. People get more for it. Like when they're buying a piece of merch, they're not just giving you a dollar or two, they're getting something back for it. So they're gonna get something that they enjoy, hopefully, that they enjoy and like the quality of, and something with your name on it and your brand on it. So they're helping you spread your name. They're actually getting something for the money that they spend. And the website's the same thing. You're giving pure information out to them so that when they stop by, they're getting something back for it. They're not spending no money on it. It's nothing coming out of pocket and you're just generating revenue for them there, appreciating the services that you have. For me, that it's forms and I help people with a lot of commands and stream issues. So it's a perfect place for me to host my content and a lot of people go and visit it. That's all I'm going to cover for tips and donations because this isn't one that's, this one's not hard to set up. Every service has it. Stream Elements, Stream Labs. There's lots of other places you can go and set up this here tipping service where you just have to use the services that you're already using to set it up. So if you already set up a merch store, you might as well set up tips while you're there. It's super easy. But that's all I'm going to cover for tips and donations. We're just going to give this here and here close out and number four on the list is going to be affiliate programs if you're not sure what affiliate programs are a lot of people call these here sponsorships they're wrong when they call them sponsorships and they're wrong when they're called sponsorships because a sponsorship definition if you take a look on google is is not an affiliate program fits the word better these are going to be offerings from like energy drink companies so a good couple would be w energy uh, Swift Lifestyle, Glitch. So Glitch, uh, W Energy, and Swift Energy are the three. I'll make sure to leave links here uh, down in the description below for all of these here affiliate programs. So if you want to check them out or uh, try to join them, if you're watching this video, you're most likely looking for a couple of ways to generate a little extra revenue. I don't like these ones here very much because they're pretty much a pyramid scam. Your job is to buy their product, you pay their set price, and you got to sell it to your audience for an upsell so that you make any money off them at all. So these ones here are going to be pretty much the bottom of the list of my suggestions. This is the worst one of them all. But affiliate programs are so easy to pick up. And if you really like an energy drink like W Energy or you're drinking Glitch Energy anyways, if you're spending that money, you might as well be buying it from your own store. So trying to get their affiliate program is, is definitely a good idea for you if you're already consuming their product. One of the ones that I suggest highly is actually W Energy. These guys came out, they were fairly new, but they, they got known very, very well, very quickly. So that means they're obviously doing a very good job with their affiliate program. And uh, Swift Energy was around when I first started. They have three different plans you can apply for. They're just barely growing if you're bigger and famous or if you're an org owner. So they have a couple more options. Others don't. But if you apply to these here and actually the size of an org, they're, it, they're not going to say no. These are some of the easiest things to get. If they say no, it's actually because you did something completely wrong because they say yes to pretty much any size. It's a great place to get started to learn how affiliate programs work and it'll give you some handling with sponsors as you grow because these here kind of the handle the same you can bargain with them a little bit you can try some of that out like some of these here offer things like name your brands and stuff like that there that you can enjoy and have a good time with but that's really it for the affiliate programs i only had the three to name that i knew offhand like they are super easy to get to search these here just go to google search what you want and type in affiliate program for me i just typed in glitch affiliate program w energy affiliate program swift energy affiliate program you're able to find all of 
the applications fairly easily. The W Energy one is going to look like this here. It's just going to be w.gg slash pages slash sponsors. So that one's super easy to find. And it's the same as the Swift Lifestyle one. You'll be able to just open it up and you'll find this here if you if you search for their Swift Energy affiliate program. So it's super easy to find all of these here. Super easy to set up. I'm going to close all those ones here. Uh, the last one on the list, the last way to make a little bit of extra income as a creator, number five is Fiverr. If you have a skill from making the content you're already making, from streaming like you already are, if you have a smooth talking voice, if you're super good at your thumbnails, if you have any skill that you notice that you excel at since you've started streaming, put that to use. Go to Fiverr, check it out. Like I said, something as simple as if you're good at thumbnails, this is a good place for you to post your name. Not only does it help you spread your name, but it's a pretty good source of income. On Fiverr, you'll get a lot more business for the things that you're good at. If you if you happen to be good at the things like video editing, thumbnail editing, color correction, any of those things that you would need in your day-to-day -day streaming or video content creation life. There's a lot of creators out there that don't know how to do these things. So there's basic skills that you can learn. You don't have to be great. You just charge the price duty uh, that vary on your skill level if you're not very good. Start with a little bit of free work to get your name out there. Spread your name. Change the price as you get better. And once you become really good, charge the really good prices. And that's what I suggest doing if you already have a knack at any one thing. If you like video editing, if you like making thumbnails, you don't necessarily have to be super good at them to be able to get a little bit of extra work on Fiverr. Just don't mislead people. Just tell them you're just new. This is what your work. Give them some examples. Do it for a discount price at first to start with and it'll spread your name which is good in two ways getting your name out there is good for you having a good name for doing these here things in the community will help you grow your community so much you don't understand how many people actually need that service and once you're recommended and do good work you'll just you'll blow up in that community you do good work for so just keep trucking forward and keep trying like do the best work you can and it could actually pay off for you quite a bit and not only providing you with a little extra income it gives you a lot more exposure in other communities communities and other places. So I think that's really good for you in two ways. And it's one of the best ones on the list. I know it's number four because it's not the easiest. You actually have to put in job type work. You need to be working a job. If you're going to do Fiverr, if you don't get up in the morning, eat your breakfast and plan your day out a little bit so that you have some kind of organization to it. This one's going to be a little bit harder for people to achieve unless you are super skilled at one thing. So if you're super good at making thumbnails, just go on here and you can just slap out thumbnails by the millions. Hit up Fiverr. It's a place that you'll make really good money and it might actually and like fiber i've seen fiber replace streaming for a lot of people that just found out that they were better at making the content and making the thumbnails versus actually performing and entertaining some people aren't good at all the things but if you're good at one thing fiber might be for you that's all i really wanted to say in this one here guys this one is just a ramble and just to give a give you a couple of ideas of a few things to try out if you're trying to make a little bit of revenue uh, becoming a new streamer is actually not easy and it, there's a quite a bit of struggles with making income so i hope these here four ways five ways provide you with a little insight on a couple of things you can try i'll definitely be leaving links to everything i've talked about all the sponsorships all the affiliate programs and any of the links that lead to the stuff that I've suggested here. I'll make sure to leave all the links in the description below. I hope this here give you a couple of ideas up to this here point. But the last one on the list is going to be other platforms. I know you've been hearing this since day one. Millions of creators tell it every single time like just other platforms. They say it for a reason. Okay, it's a good idea. How much I make on YouTube. I started out just barely streaming a little bit. I don't make any money on Twitch. On YouTube though, I can afford to do this here full time now. So that's the difference between trying out other platforms. If I would have stayed on Twitch, I wouldn't be anywhere right now. You wouldn't be watching this here video. I wouldn't be making any kind of income off of my off my platform except for when people subscribe. So what I did was I reached out to other platforms. I joined YouTube. I made a few YouTube channels. I joined Twitch. I joined Twitter, I joined Instagram. So now I'm on a lot more platforms, which just opened a lot more doors and potential of possibilities for me being able to make income. Once I get affiliated on YouTube and got my thousand subscribers, it actually changed my content a lot because before that it was making nothing. And once I got affiliated on YouTube, it started to move forward quite a bit and it started to generate a little bit of revenue. Still again though, my website is my biggest contributor. It's definitely by far 
the investment that makes me the most back in return because the amount of visitors that I get there, um, the ads just pay much better on YouTube and your own website than they do, let's say, on Twitch and other. There's some platforms that just don't pay you very well. Trying them all out. You might not pop off on Twitch. You might not pop off on Kick. You might not pop off on YouTube. You might pop off somewheres like Instagram and you're just not there. Or maybe you're a TikTok god. So those are that's the last way I can think of that you could generate a little extra income. Try and get affiliated on other platforms. Try and grow on other platforms because two ad revenues is better than one no matter how you look at it. It's it's twice as much. And if you can clip up your, your Twitch stuff and put it on YouTube in such a way that it's going to generate you some, that's double that's double the content for nearly next to nothing for work. You're just cutting it up. Like it's actually not that hard to cut up a little bit of content and throw it on another platform until you get good at it. But the more you spread out and the more your name gets known, the more chance and more likeliness you are of being able to make a small revenue at that thing that you started. So like I said, spread out, try other platforms. And the list again is number one is merch, two websites, three tips, donations, four affiliate programs, five fiber, and six is just other platforms. Those are the six ways that I think small content creators have the best chance of making a little extra revenue. I was going to put sponsors on here, but I have a video covering sponsors. And if you're just new to streaming and stuff like that, it'll be very disappointing to hear how I down talk three average viewers. It's it's not a good video to watch if you haven't been streaming for a while. This one here is a better fit for if you're just starting. I wouldn't be thinking about sponsors for quite a long time into the affiliated on a couple of platforms. So that's something to keep in mind. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, please leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.